very good morning and good afternoon or good evening let's see what messages come through for you sagittarius sun moon rising venus jupiter right hmm. i'm a little low today i feel very heavy energy have no idea why so sag sun moon rising venus and jupiter what do we have here four of pentacles overall possibly sag i feel that somebody is a little demanding right now in your surroundings and i feel you're trying to hold on to some things very strong can be money can be love can be feelings trying not to express something to somebody or simply an emotion where you're careful and you're protective of something yeah eight of wands for some of you uh, you've heard some messages some communication is arriving or maybe somebody's trying to reach out to you this can be movement eight of wands uh, you know forward movement positive movement can be coming from a cancer by a scorpio possibly somebody who is emotional right now scorpio energy here possibly there is some change happening in this person's life deep transformation and something surrounding money or something surrounding stability is under question we're going to see what's that but anyways i see you holding on to uh, your stability very tight emotional financial mental and you're not expressing you're not expressing you're not trusting the situation right now all right let's move forward sach so where are you coming from the moon the king of wands and the six of pentacles nine of swords under the deck for someone specific i'm picking up sach this can be you or your person or somebody in your surroundings who is watching you who is very attracted to you king of wands masculine energy right very attractive waiting for the right time to make the move this person possibly is looking at you where you are in your own thoughts in your own thought process maybe for some of you i'm picking up there has been some past disappointment or some thoughts which are still on your mind and you're just thinking about them i'm also picking up strong responsibilities here right maybe you're feeding multiple situations you're carrying some responsibilities you might be paying bills or you might be giving uh, you know I heard somebody is giving school fees or um, kids maybe, or simply it's a situation where a lot of expenditure is involved. And for someone specific, I see there is a responsibility which is adding up on your head. And somewhere I'm picking up, you are feeling that I don't have sufficient time, money, emotions, space maybe to open up to this energy, and I see you resisting it right now. possibly somebody is having some nightmares some thoughts about this whole scenario and this person is a uh, little distant they acting little distant or they trying to walk away for introspection <sighs> okay i do see this person had some long term view again queen of cups is here queen of cups is not going away let's give it a good shuffle sag and then we are going to see what else is coming up for you So Sarge, let's see. This is uh, going to be what is next happening here in this situation. Little more clarity. Two of Cups. There is love. There is a partnership here. Somebody is quite demanding. I'm picking up. You are the one you're dealing with. Somebody wants clarity, logic. There are expectations. Somebody is looking for truth. This can surround. Yeah. Nine of Swords. This can surround. Just a second. Eight of Pentacles here. for someone specific i'm picking up that now you see two things i'm picking up two different scenarios somebody is trying to protect a connection and this whole situation is piling up on their mind possibly this is you you're trying to ask questions you're trying to get clarity in this week i'm picking up that there is a love connection you're trying to protect or you're trying to set boundaries you're trying to get clarity about the situation because possibly in past you've been giving too much right but then there are some thoughts which are puzzling you we're going to get more clarity on this right in this situation we're going to get more clarity for some of you i'm picking up that somebody is passionate about you but this person is afraid that you're going to ask questions this can be vice versa also right i'm i'm picking up gemini libra aquarius energy wow hmm 
for someone specific i'm picking up that somebody's demanding partnership somebody's demanding a relationship maybe right and this is giving you some kind of nightmares that what is going to be the future of the situation because possibly you are not sure about a commitment maybe right we're going to see what's that moving forward sag three of pentacles knight of swords wow six of wands i see you're going to be dodging something gracefully here at in the near future you can say this is one week's energy so uh, try to take it that flexible because it's a general reading somebody's feeling cold and deta detached and this person is missing you king and queen of cups i'm picking up some deep emotional partnership here right king of pentacles i see a lot of masculine energy here for some of you maybe multiple people are involved in the picture feeling cold and abandoned right asking for your support in the near future somebody is coming back for judgment call for revival of the situation but overall it's four of pentacles so i'm picking up that you're dicey about the situation in the near future i see you're a little confused and afraid this person is asking questions they're demanding something about this partnership this connection you have with them or the connection they feel for you and you are in your thoughts about this what is going to be the future what is the possibility right nine of swords i'm picking up that there is a thought which is not letting you sleep or possibly there are multiple thoughts which are not letting you sleep right thoughts coming from different directions but are they actually valid that's the question here because i see there are some fears no doubt but i think it's piling up because you're overthinking about it so just be careful with that that you don't overthink if somebody is saying something don't multiply it in your mind right try to just stay grounded in the situation in the near future talking about your future in this situation by future i just mean that what are the current energies again tarot is not a tool of fortune telling or tarot is not the tool tool i'm sorry for future prediction these are wrong terms tarot is a tool for understanding and guidance of your current situation and how can we improve it what are the room what are the places where we can bring changes what in the situation that is a question that stays in our mind when we try to get tarot guidance right so so never consider tarot readings as future prediction or fortune telling right again i, I just wanted to correct you here for someone specific who is who you know i get these questions sometimes that whatever currently you're discussing is happening with us but sometimes what you say is going to happen in future doesn't resonate or it doesn't happen that way that is because tarot helps us analyzing the current choices and possible outcomes of the situation but the real outcome or the real future is going to be based on the choices you're going to make today that's the free will right so we're just trying to analyze the current situation here there's somebody here sitting in the middle of this reading queen of swords gemini libra aquarius energy this person is definitely trying to ask questions surrounding this partnership right now three of pentacles in the near future i'm picking up that um you might simply drop some things and start focusing on your work start focusing on your career your money your growth there is some distraction coming in right and for some of you i see the moment you start collaborating the moment you start uh dividing your attention somebody is coming in very quick for some of you i'm picking up that you might be overthinking about the situation in your head but when it comes to dealing with the situation on the ground you're trying to avoid it but this is something that is tricking someone that is uh, that is making somebody uncomfortable so i feel that as you start ignoring something as you start focusing on the other aspects of your life your resistance here is making somebody feel uncomfortable and i see very quick action action activity forward movement maybe a rash call unexpected call with little anger i wouldn't uh, i cannot deny that i'm picking up a little bit anger here in this situation also and you're going to get a message which is a little uncomfortable maybe in the near future in the near future like this week or so right few days and i feel that instead of getting into an argument and instead of Uh, you know uh, letting your energy get drained in some pity fight or argument you're gracefully avoiding the situation right you're like okay i i just cannot waste my time here i have a lot to do right 
so for a lot of you i see you might simply ignore the call for some time or ignore this person for some time because this is a rash reaction i'm picking up right for a lot of you i see you have a lot of things again from the very beginning i'm picking up that you are somehow involved in some kind of community thing there are responsibilities maybe family maybe something you're trying to maintain a delicate balance in your life and somebody is acting little i won't say ruthless but i feel that somebody is not able to understand your point because i see you coming from a place of disappointment and a lot is happening in your life and you want somebody to be compassionate enough to understand your situation now there is passion there is attraction but at the same time you want collaboration too so i see you gracefully avoiding something though this person of course the situation is reviving and somebody is trying to talk to you again here let's give it a good, good shuffle sagittarius okay so what is uh, so disappointing here seven of swords you're having your own set of secrets i'm picking up yeah i see you guys are trying to strategize something eight of cups maybe this is a thought on your mind that i need some time off i need more time to introspect there have been some spilled cups or broken cups here and you want to analyze the situation for some of you i see you keeping your own set of secrets from the outside world here what is this queen of swords energy what do you want to say queen of swords i'm sorry okay this wheel of fortune somebody is asking for a big change right somebody is demanding a big change this person feels cold and abandoned this person feels that you're just busy in your own responsibilities and stuff and what you're giving to them is too less right so somebody is asking for their partnership with you their connection with you this person wants to know what's the future of this connection we the fortune are, are we going to bring bigger changes in the situation or not are we going to get committed or not can we just shift the cycle so somebody wants past to just get over and some new cycle to start i see this is what this person is expecting is this the right time is this the divine timing i see these questions are definitely stressing up they're causing so much stress on your mind here and i see you are like for some of you in the near future you're just planning to neglect those nightmares and thoughts and questions and work and collaborate and you know for a lot of you as you want to rise above some basic things in your life and you want to think about bigger things right so what is this uh, knight of swords rushing in for you oh my god thunder tower energy 10 of pentacles now somebody wants all or not nothing right all or none i'm sorry <laughs> sad this is some aquarius energy in your surroundings i see air aquarius star yeah this person is definitely wanting to to bring this spark in this situation for some of you i'm picking up that somebody feels that the connection is uh, becoming monotonous and you know like a like a straight line graph things are becoming monotonous somebody wants to spice up things see we have the fire here and ace of wands when when i see ace of wands in a general reading i feel that somebody wants to spice up things somebody wants the spark somebody wants some fun or passion right what are they saying i see they're saying something which is forcing you to neglect the situation altogether and you know gracefully walk out for some time walk out of the uh, of the argument of the conflict right what is this eight of pentacles yeah see again we have son of swords that is the knight of swords energy past gains somebody wants to talk to you somebody wants to talk to you i see some rash conversation here that's coming in like a thunder and for a lot of you i see uh, your basic reaction to the situation might be that you simply ignore the situation and keep on working because uh, i'm picking up that you have your own responsibilities but somebody is little demanding in the situation right now okay so i do see love influence here sagittarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter sagittarius ten of cups sad it's a partnership it's a partnership you can't avoid it's important ace of wands i definitely feel somebody wants passion excitement and the spark back in the situation right for some for someone specific i'm picking up that someone wants to get married and have babies So this is going to be very specific but this person definitely wants kids right 
ask so this is going to be a little awkward for some of you if somebody is asking for future kids are you know when we say kids kids means future responsibility planning Res you know you can take it as birth to something new bringing changes in your life a child is that representation here right or maybe they actually want physical kids a happy marriage, happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, again, raising children wisely and successfully, people can trust you. This person wants a stable, happy home with you. And uh, let's have this card, this deck, I'm sorry. And um, let's get an advice for you, right, Sag? Beautiful energy. For a lot of you, I see you carrying your own set of secrets and that's the reason why you're not able to level up. But this person feels that this is the right time. This is the divine timing, perfect timing card. This is the time that you take things forward, that you, you know, level up your connection. This person wants a full-fledged relationship, maybe. Right? Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> a new start is coming, Saj. And Ten of Cups. We have worked three of years. For a lot of you, some big changes in your life are knocking your door. Possibly the reason that you're holding back is some kind of fears. Maybe you have some history. You have some... I'm picking up specifically for someone uh, a history of failed relationships, right? Specifically, somebody's afraid of uh, jumping into this new big thing. So there is a fresh start. It's like universe. Wheel of Fortune, new start is coming. Ten of Cups. Universe is giving you signs that it's time to level up, right? In your life. Maybe with somebody or maybe alone, that's, that's your call. But there's somebody who wants to partner you in that, right? So I'll leave you here, Satch. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.